Okay. Okay, I feel like she's trolling because I saw a little smirk on her face at one point. I feel like this girl's trolling and she, and she knows. And she knows she's trolling. Bitch! Girl, you know I don't feed horses to my fucking dogs, bitch! Dude, I need a break. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. Honestly, there's only so much energy I can give to that vegan teacher. I just can't take it seriously. I know a lot of you guys have been dying for me to react to the videos that she's made about me. But honestly, the reason I've put it off is not only because I don't care what she has to say about me, but also because she just says the same shit over and over about me. And she's just trying to get attention and likes and views. And... By me making this video, I'm essentially giving her the attention she's looking for because she's trying to stay relevant. Ugh, I know what she's gonna say, you know what I mean? She's gonna fail me, she's gonna tell me I'm a terrible fucking person, she's gonna say that I'm not vegan, and it's like, whatever, dude. If you don't wanna believe I'm vegan, that's fine, that literally doesn't bother me. I don't understand why she thinks it's such a big deal that, like, I should care that she doesn't think I'm vegan. It's like... Girl, you don't think anybody's vegan. My biggest problem with that vegan teacher is that I don't think that she puts her animal's well-being first. I don't think that she cares about other people or the environment. And that vegan teacher is literally the exact stereotypical vegan that people make fun of when they make fun of vegans or use as an example as vegans are crazy or that's why I don't want to be vegan. I mean, even vegans don't want to be associated with that vegan teacher because she's just so far gone and that's my problem with her is I don't see her as vegan because if she truly cared about the environment or the animals or people then she would go about spreading her message in an effective way that would actually convert people over to veganism instead of pushing more people away and just harassing people and basically making all of us look bad and look like a fucking joke so that's my problem with her oh and also i don't like the fact that she feeds her dog vegan but i'm gonna make an entire video series on why it is terrible to feed dogs vegan even though i've already made multiple videos on it but before we get into that just briefly because i know i had this long rant i just want to say that these are our new adopt hoodies and t-shirts that are out and available now on linkequestrian.com i'm so excited about this collection i worked on it for a while and i hope you guys really like them you can pick them up if you are interested but otherwise Let's do it. You know, she's made so many videos about me. I am not gonna react to all of them. I don't know why she hates me so much. Actually, I do know why she hates me so much. It's a bit weird. The amount of times that she's made videos about me and posts about me, it's like, girl, I don't know why you're so obsessed with me. Like, I do a lot more for the earth, environment, and animals than you do, so. At Raleigh Link 14 stop paying people to hurt animals. Does fake vegan Raleigh, <laughs> Raleigh Link 14 feed horses to her dogs? <laughs> Bitch, I can't. I literally can't. So I'm assuming this video is going to be about me feeding my dogs a fully raw diet, which biologically speaking is the most appropriate and bioavailable diet that my dogs should be eating, just like my cat as well. So yes, I feed a fully balanced, fully raw diet to my dogs. I mean, girl, at least I have like actual medical data and scientific data and veterinary data to back my claims and back my videos. And I've actually worked with veterinarians in the field of veterinary science. For those of you who don't know, Raleigh Link 14 is somebody here on YouTube who pretends that she's vegan, but she's not. Who the fuck does that? Who pretends that they're vegan? You, bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck does that? You. Girl, nobody thinks that you're vegan because you turn people away from veganism. You're rude as hell to people. You pretty much make a mockery of veganism. And a lot of people don't like you because of that. She knows that. That's what's so crazy about that vegan teacher. It's like she knows that she's damaging the vegan movement and yet she still 
thinks that there's nothing wrong with what she's doing and she's just holier than thou and she's the best vegan to have ever lived and existed. Also, she does these long videos pretending to have done some research. And in fact, when you look at what she's done, the articles that she is referring to are simply just blog posts, zero science involved. Rally link 14, why are you an animal abuser? Oh my God. Dude, she's literally like making up lies. <laughs> of course there are videos where I will share people's opinions, I will share blog posts when I'm talking about specific subjects. In that video and in every single video where I make medical, scientific, or veterinary claims, I have peer-reviewed unbiased studies that are backing those claims. I try very, very hard to put out the most accurate, unbiased information that are peer-reviewed studies by people in that field. The fact that she's trying to say that I don't have any studies and it's just a bunch of blog posts is absolutely untrue and she literally knows that. Or else, if it's just a bunch of blog posts, why the fuck didn't you go and be like, see, this is what she referenced and it's just a blog post. Because it's not a blog post. She's just saying that as an excuse because she doesn't want to actually address the data that I put right in front of her face that backed my claims. Why Rally Link 14? You say that you love horses, but do you really? Because apparently you pay people to murder animals and you feed them to your dogs. What kind of animals do you feed your dogs exactly? Horses? Do you pay people to murder horses and give those in a bowl, cut up, full of blood for your dogs, Rally? It's fucked up. To call yourself a vegan is really seriously messed up. Here's another one. <laughs> I feel like, okay, okay, I feel like she's trolling because I saw a little smirk on her face at one point. I feel like this girl's trolling and she, and she knows, and she knows she's trolling. Bitch! Girl, you know I don't feed horses to my fucking dogs, bitch! Dude, I need a break. I went over how to feed a correctly balanced, fully raw diet to your dogs in multiple videos, okay? I also went over exactly what I feed my dogs and how to ethically source fully raw food for your dogs. I mean, that vegan teacher has a dog herself and for some reason doesn't see how cruel it is that she's nutritionally depriving her animal of the adequate diet that her animal needs to be eating. In my opinion, I believe that me feeding my dogs the responsible food that they need to be eating because I took on the responsibility to care for them instead of knowingly letting them suffer nutritionally I feel like that is much more responsible than nutritionally depriving my dog and, you know, subjecting my dog to cancer-causing carcinogens and an early death from inadequate nutrients and also, like, starvation and having your animal degenerate over time because they're not getting the proper diet. And I understand that she has a problem with me feeding my dogs fully raw, and I respect that, but... At the end of the day, if you're a vegan and you're uncomfortable feeding your dogs or cats the appropriate diet that they need to be eating, then you shouldn't have them as pets because it kind of goes against veganism anyway to have pets. So it's kind of funny that she's like arguing this point when a lot of veganism is thinking that it's cruel to own pets anyway. So why do you even have a dog? How far is veganism gonna go before they realize they've gone too far? Animals that are carnivorous should not be subjected to veganism. And people who think that dogs are omnivores are wrong. Dogs are not omnivores. Dogs are biologically speaking scavenging carnivores, which means they can eat fruits and vegetables, but they will die over time if they don't eat meat. It's not enough to sustain a healthy life for those animals. They will degenerate over time. It's nutritionally inadequate for them to only eat plant-based materials. And 
And on top of that, dogs have a digestive system that is 99.9% .9 identical to that of the gray wolf today. So people who say that domesticated dogs are not wolves, biologically speaking, their digestive tracts are almost exactly the same. They are short and they're designed for digesting meat and bone. So they don't process plant materials very efficiently at all. So anybody who's gonna sit there and say that dogs are omnivores is not true. And cats are definitely carnivores. So anybody feeding a vegan diet to cats, they can't even survive on plants. So I don't even understand what she's saying. I mean, she just makes no sense. She's just, I mean, she was literally like, girl, she was literally smirking. Like, you know what you're doing. You know you're you're a joke and you know that like what you're saying is dumb, so. Why Rally Link 14? What is the difference? Here's a dog, here's a cow. What right do you think that you have to pay somebody to murder this animal and feed it to this one, as opposed to the opposite way around. There's no excuse for animal abuse, Rally Link 14. Now today is my five year vegan anniversary. That's five years. That means that I don't pay people to take a knife and to slit the throat of animals. How the fuck can you say that you are vegan if you pay people to do this, Rally? I want to address this claim how vegans think that, oh, I've been vegan for five plus years and I haven't harmed a single fucking animal and I'm holier than thou and blah, blah, blah. You have a car that has animal parts in it. Your phone probably has animal parts in it. Your laptop probably has animal parts in it. You cannot get away from animal materials. You can't get away from, you know, the exploitation of animals and the exploitation of people. The whole purpose of being vegan is it's not that you will never put others in harm or your money will never go towards, you know, exploitation of humans or people or damaging the environment. The whole purpose is just to try to do the best you can, the best you can for the animals, the best you can for the environment. But it's not that you will ever fully get away from that because it's impossible. She has definitely given money towards the exploitation of humans, animals, the destruction of the planet, etc. over the last five years, unknowingly or knowingly. And she's just trying to say that because she doesn't eat meat and dairy, that she's saving the planet. And just because you don't eat meat and dairy doesn't mean that you're never supporting any of those terrible industries that are causing all the problems in the world. Every single person's money goes towards those things at one point in another. It's literally impossible to get away from it. Even my fucking camera has animal parts in it. And also guys, I'm really sorry, but I mean, Jesus Christ, this video is only a four minute long video and I just can't get through it because it's so dumb. So I'm definitely not gonna react to the other videos she made about me. I just, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is vegans who think that just because they eat a specific diet, that they're better than all other people. Like you still support all these other things. You still give money to all these other industries. Like the whole purpose is to just try to limit your consumption of goods and the amount of money that's going towards these other industries and trying to be a better person. Like that's the whole purpose of veganism. It's not that you will ever be fully away from all of that bad shit. It's just that you're gonna try your hardest to not give money to those industries even though it'll probably happen here or there. But ex how exactly are these animals killed that you say are humanely raised? And what stops you, if you don't do it, from killing horses? How are horses more important than any of these animals? Rally, these animals don't deserve to die. Neither do these. And neither do these. It's been proven by science that animals, like dogs, can be 100% healthy eating vegan foods. No, 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 no. Uh, there is no medical data to support these claims that animals can live a long, happy, healthy life on a vegan diet. No medical data whatsoever to back those claims, okay? All that veterinarians have come out and said is that, yeah, your dog could survive on the basic nutrients in vegan food, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be good for them long term. 
long-term and it doesn't mean that they're going to live a long, healthy, happy, nutritious life without problems. So veterinarians have essentially just come out and said that any dogs eating a vegan diet are just guinea pigs because there's no medical data to support any of those claims. That's one of the biggest reasons why it's so dangerous. You are subjecting your animals to your own personal beliefs which is so wrong. Instead of feeding them a biologically appropriate diet that they were designed to be eating. I mean, you're literally the definition of selfish and narcissistic and animal abusing. I think it is absolutely cruel to not feed an animal the nutritionally adequate diet that they need to be eating. And also, no, I don't think that horse lives are more valuable than other animals. As I said, it's the better of two evils in that specific situation. My dog Bella has been vegan for almost four years and she is perfectly fine. And for you to accuse me of being an animal abuser, it's quite the joke, isn't it? How do you sleep at night? Exactly how do you sleep at night? I mean, I literally, keep my money in my pockets when I'm around people who have knives near animals. You do the opposite. Who's the animal abuser? You are. Yeah. When are you gonna stop? Oh my god. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're filming this video on an iPhone or a camera that has animal parts in it, right? <laughs> it's not like you're uploading this video on a laptop that has animal parts in it, right? It's not like you've never given money to the exploitation of humans, animals, or the destruction of the planet, right? Okay, it's not like you don't drive a car every day. Yeah, I stand by my claims, absolutely. fucking lutely You are nutritionally depriving your dog of the adequate nutrients that it needs to be eating. And there are no medical claims to back what you're saying. And she knows that, which is why she's not putting any medical claims or data in this video. She's just saying that there's medical data when there's none. Apparently I'm one of the people that you hate the most in this world. You know why? Because you know that I see you. You hate that. Stop being an animal abuser and be vegan from now on. <laughs> oh my God, she loves me. Oh, no, I don't hate her. I mean, I don't hate her. I just think that she nutritionally deprives her dog and she's very misinformed. In a way, I believe that she's trolling and she knows that she's trolling. And that's kind of just what I believe. Like, I just believe that she knows that she's full of shit. Just because you disagree with people, that's not an excuse for you to be a bitch. And it also makes the rest of vegans look bad and look crazy when you go off on your little rants about just the most ridiculous, insane shit that makes every single vegan sound absolutely psychotic and crazy. In my opinion, I just think that she goes about veganism and spreading the message in the completely wrong way that turns a lot of people off and makes vegans look crazy and it discredits us. And I also believe that she doesn't have a clear direction. She's just attacking every little thing that anybody does and it's like, dude, if people are trying to treat animals more ethically and they're trying to take better care of animals and the environment, like you're no better than the next person who's trying to do better with their life. But nevertheless, you're never gonna get through to somebody like that vegan teacher. And she's probably gonna make a response video to this video, but she's not even gonna actually address any of the points that I made, which is fine, whatever, she's fucking crazy. I actually believe that you don't even believe what you're saying and that you're just saying it for attention. And I think that you really need to go see somebody about why you're doing that. And that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified every time I make a video. And again, don't forget about the Adopt hoodies and t-shirts. Those are out now. Adopt, don't shop. But otherwise, I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday, or at least I'm trying to get back into that. And hopefully you'll see me this next Wednesday or possibly Monday because I think I have another video planned. But anyway, I'll see you then. I'll see you then. Okay, bye.